I had this item uh, pulled because I, I was expecting some information with regard to the budget, some issues relating to the budget that I don't uh, see before us. And uh, so in that regard, I'd, I'd like some clarification on a number of issues. Where's um, with regard to the sheriff's budget, again, to the CEO's office, I presume, or to, to staff in general, uh, with regard to the sheriff's budget, with regard to the question uh, of uh, addressing some of the ancillary issues that were before us at that time last week, uh, and uh, these have not been part of our the materials received today, and so I was rather taken aback here that uh, there were some things left on the table last week uh, where we uh, made the uh, vote and I'm concerned that they are not being addressed as this is brought before us at this time. Ms. Glassy, if you can attempt to address those, please. Sure. Allison Glassy, Assistant CEO. Um, at the close of the hearing that rep uh, last week, that represented what what the board voted on that at that point represented the budget and so what you've got before you is being handled the way it's been handled in previous years which is that final action of the board at the public hearing is reflected now in the final budget document that is before you so there were some things that were not changed in that final action of the board so with regard to the sheriff's budget the sheriff's budget stands as as it was at that point and there is kind of on the table a board commitment for fully funding their staffing their regular staffing they are budgeted in overtime and extra help at a certain level and where that is left is the expectation that they manage to that that's what we were left with and we will obviously be working with the sheriff's office and um, there is a plan for addressing overtime and extra help the meeting that was set up the, the committee etc and I think that as we go through the quarterly fiscal reports and that committee meets that there will be reports brought back to the board on how effective that strategy is and whether other actions may be necessary to address that issue but as it stands it is an issue that the sheriff is committed to addressing and, and managing and the executive office will be working with the sheriff's office if you want to mention other specifics I can address well those. well I, I guess my issue and it's a broader philosophical issue and it, uh, it has to do with furloughs time off the state budget and so forth because what you've just said with all due respect mm -hmm. what you've just said could be said about any one of our departments we will work with them over the next uh, two months the next 12 months uh, it's not if that's what the budget is, in other words, a, a big uh, shapeless and constantly changing uh, ball of dough that we punch in here and push out there or whatever as we go through the months before us, uh, that might be reasonable. But in that case, my feeling is here is then why even bother with this? Why don't we just tell everybody to do the best job they can and we'll talk to them as a board as things go forward. I'm not being entirely facetious here. No, I understand. But there, are, there is the state budget. We don't know, and I've just got documents before me right now, and they're not going to steal money from local districts. So, you know, keep your hand on your back pocket, on your wallet, uh, as, you hear, as you listen to that. The other side of it is <clears throat> with regard to the sheriff's budget. He has made representations about the problems he is con going to confront. We have heard goodwill on his side, goodwill on our side, but goodwill will not buy you a cup of coffee, okay? The, the other aspect here is we have the tough problem here of how we come up with more revenue 
my experience here, and I'm relying on it, uh, perhaps overly so, but the only way we effectively deal with this is to find a pot of money that we had, did not know existed. I think we've been pretty thorough this year mm -hmm. in identifying every pot of money that's out there. So that's out. So then we have to start talking about such things, awkward things, unpleasant things, such as staff reductions, furloughs, and so forth. And that's as if we don't want to talk about the elephant in the room or the monstrosity in the room, whatever we want to call it. And so in that regard here, I don't feel that it's appropriate for us to be closing out or moving to a point of saying, well, we're moving forward with the budget and we are asking for your, uh, your approval of it here today. I can't uh, find that very compelling. Okay, well. And again, I, I don't know <laughs> that you're going to come up with a, you know, okay, pull a rabbit out of the hat there you've got on the other side of the lectern. But uh, no hats, <laughs> no hats, no rabbits. No rabbit. no rabbit. <laughs> but again, I'm just expressing for uh, general consumption, but also to say we still have a big, big, big problem with the budget. Let's not kid ourselves is the reason for raising this 